Today guys, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens. As you can see, the room's up and running. Um, just put the fish in today, I'll give you a quick look at the fish. We're using the same LED lamps that I use in my room. Um, two to one uh, blue-red ratio. Plants are in, but they're very small still. Um, they only planted out a couple of days ago, and there haven't been any fish in the system up until now. This is all deep water culture, this is a floating raft system, about 30 centimetres, 35 centimetres of water underneath. It has our biofilter, um, just a standard hydrogen biofilter. Give you a look at the filter I made for the customer here. This is something very special. Um, I've never done this before, but it looks quite good. This is the overflow here in this bucket. Um, the bucket would just slid in two bits of Japanese um, mat on either side and that water passes through there. Inflow comes from there, it slowly spins around, pre-settles and only the clean water on the, on the, over, on the surface will pass through here. There's a safety overflow, overflow here in case the mats get stopped and they haven't cleaned them lately. Um, the water will pass through no matter what, there won't be any flooding. Plug that up quickly. I'm going to take it over. We're going to be putting a few fish at the moment due to the fact that bacteria is still growing. Um, just some pink tilapias in here, pink nailed tilapia. Water flow is great. Something like the in there. This is heated. Right. This is all done with um, S solid lifting overflow, the slow system. Um, we've also got a safety overflow there, you can see those holes are filled down here, just down the bottom there, the safety overflow, just in case um, the tanks going to stop, they're saying stop in here, water goes through here, down there, and into the filter. These are built on the 45 degree angle, same with there, it gives the water a good push. Um, this is on a slight slant, and then flattens out a little bit. To go into the filter tank. As you can see, the water level is up here. So this is constantly full of water. But we've got safety cords on here anyway, just in case. Water passes through into there. Over a secondary filter map, just in case there's any more fine solids, which we really clean it out a little bit. And there's a, a huge bell siphon. That's my bell siphon. Um, I like to have the safety brake on top. And there's just some slits and some holes drilled in the bottom and a standard standpipe. So, okay, it goes through there. This is also one of the systems that I like to have designed. I well, don't know where I picked it up from actually. And as the water comes through, it also sucks air through here. I noticed a huge difference in bubbles uh, by having the standpipe on top. Um, water goes through there, basically. Under here is um, a pipe that joins these two tanks together, goes into here, and back into the pump. Pump is built into the deep water culture. That's why I have a sump tank when you have a huge sump tank right here. Um, deep water culture, these two tanks hooked up together. Um, we've got about 3,000 litres of water, and that's plenty enough for a sump tank. You pump it up, over, and down to the part and the two tanks. As far as the heating goes, this uh, blower, the air pipe here, is fed through that wall over there to this hole. Another side is uh, the heating room for the hot water system for the house. Uh, that room is always 30 degrees. Um, even in winter, it's still around 26, 27 degrees. And the water is still climbing in temperature, it's up to 20. Five degrees or something at the moment. We go have a quick look at that. Water is now 24.5, and it's sitting stable, climbing slowly actually. It's climbing slowly every day, half a degree. Uh, we're just waiting to see where it holds stable at, and we can control the temperature in the other room by opening a door or. Yeah, changing where the um, intake for the hot air is. 
that's that climate control. That's just uh, it does about uh, 300 cubics an hour or something. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not 100% sure. You can find it out if anyone's curious of exactly how much. But it's run on a climate control switch here, so we can adjust the temperature which we want it to run at and the minimum speed. Um, this is very important, so it always runs at a very low speed, and if it gets too hot in here, the fan will kick on in, uh, the climate control will kick in, and the fan will run flat out for a few minutes just to suck out the extra hot air. Okay guys, um, I'll keep you updated on this room. I will be back to bring some more fish in the next few weeks, and see how these plants are growing. Uh, I'm sure they'll be quite huge in the next few weeks. Hey guys, thanks for watching and uh, any questions, as per usual, leave a message for me and I will answer you as quickly as possible. Okay guys, remember to keep on growing and uh, don't give up on aquaponics, it's awesome. Hey guys, have a nice day. Ciao.